Electrophysiologist Dr. Farhat Kerala describes his field in simple terms. As electrophysiologists, we are electricians of the heart, uh, and uh, we deal with the heart electrical systems, whether the heart is going too fast or too slow. Electrophysiology services were established at Tallahassee Memorial Hospital 15 years ago by Dr. Marilyn Cox. She and Dr. Kerala say they can handle any type of heart rhythm problem. Whether it's a slow heartbeat that would require a pacemaker or a fast heartbeat that uh, could be eliminated by a procedure called an ablation or a fast heartbeat that could uh, cause sudden cardiac death, with those patients we implant a defibrillator. Without the electrophysiology services offered exclusively at TMH, patients would have to travel to Atlanta or Gainesville. Dr. Cox says there's no place like home when it comes to undergoing a heart procedure. It's much more comfortable to be able to go down the street or go across town and be able to get your medical procedure and be a, a familiar environment, have your friends and family come and see you. It's easy so you don't have to take off as much time from work, traveling and going different places. Not to mention, patients at Tallahassee Memorial Hospital benefit from state-of-the-art facilities and techniques, as well as procedures performed by board-certified electrophysiologists. We're both board-certified by the American Board of Internal Medicine. It's the highest accolade that electrophysiologists could get. And this by itself should increase the confidence of the patients. We have available to us anything that you can have at Emory or at the University of Florida. We're involved in uh, NIH sponsored research trials. So if there's something that's not available to the general public yet, you can actually get access to that here. Doctors Cox and Kerala say patients experiencing slow, fast or irregular heartbeat dizziness and or fainting should talk with their primary care physician about a referral to TMH. Patients can also do their own research online by visiting the Heart Rhythm Society or the American College of Cardiology.